Today we'll talk about Whipple disease. It's an infection in the intestine caused by Trophorema Whipple. It's a gram-positive intracellular bacteria. This bacteria lives in the deep layer of the small intestine and very quickly causes villi atrophy, just like tropical sprue and celiac disease. Now the bacteria itself will cause irritation of the lamina propria and this causes enlargement of the mesendric lymph nodes and subsequent attack of macrophages. Once these defending cells reach the lamina propria, the bacteria goes within these macrophages, but they do not provoke an inflammatory response. This prevents the macrophages from killing the bacteria, and as a result, they inflate and get larger. And this is why we have foamy macrophages in the lamina propria of Whipple disease. There will also be a positive pass stain. Now, like we said before, celiac disease can also cause villus atrophy, and it's also characterized by skin rash because it's an allergic reaction. And just like celiac disease, Whipple disease also causes villus atrophy with skin depigmentation or pigmentation. So both conditions have villus atrophy with skin symptoms. Whipple disease is more serious and can sometimes cause cardiac symptoms and neurological symptoms. The treatment with antibiotics is usually successful, but it takes quite some time. The patient has to take ceftriaxone with folate inhibitors for months or sometimes years. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following is also stained by pass? And the answer is glycogen. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.